and then the man moved his behind and the, hit the hammer, and the hammer hit the, the boy in the head, and then he became a mute, <laughs> deaf and dumb. Right. In other words, so you go with all that natural foolishness right. and didn't hear what, what happened right here. Right. Now all that might have happened, the hammer hit him in the head, but a demon came. Right. Yeah. After he got hit in the head, the demon right. came and said, hey, you can't hear no more. Right. What? Right. What? Right. What? Right. You're done. Right. No, that you have to cast out right. the deaf and dumb spirit. Right. It goes on. It says that whatever, whenever it seizes him, so it shows you this is what happens. Yeah. And this, this is a, this is a pattern. Right. It's a principle pattern. Right. This is what happened with the, the demonic. That people are not always. Matter of fact, they, they got this uh, man was telling me about uh, dementia. Right. Uh -huh. And he was saying they're in the first stage. Oh, no. He was talking about a, a priest. And I said to him, I said, you, you know what? I said, you can get him out of that. Right. Yeah. Right. I said, go to start talking to him about church stuff right. and talking about God. Yep. And I said, he'll come out of that first stage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But then he went in, well, no, then he's more moving toward the second stage. I said, oh, here we go. Right. And so you believe all that natural stuff? It's a demon. Right. 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 Trying to take more and take more and right. take more. Right. You better talk to yourself right. when your mind is starting to fly off. Right. <laughs> when, you're one, when you can only hear one side of your ear. Right. Maybe that's the side that your husband talks to you. And you turn the deaf ear to him. And now you can't hear out of it no more. You didn't hear that. Because you can't hear. My point is that these natural things, they're also spiritual things. That you can point and see, see what happens. I see them all the time. But I don't say nothing. Because I can't take the, 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 the abuse that I'm going to get. Right. Like the one family that we had in the church, they had a boy, a boy that was uh, paraplegic. Right. And they were, right, they were going on and on and wrote a book about him and they bought na to his name, wrote the book and how he was going to be healed and how he, they, they took him to every uh, known miracle worker in the day. And the boy never did get any better. Matter of fact, he got worse and he had operation after operation after operation. I know that the boy is supposed to go to heaven. I know that. They never asked me. So after 38 operations, they called me to the, to the hospital because he needed another one. And they asked me, Pastor, what shall we do? Why? Well, I know that my spirit all along right. would need to have Why? So I, at the right time, I told him. I said, you need to let him go. Why? He said, um, what do you mean let him go? I said, let him go to heaven. Why? Right. <laughs> he's not going to ever come off the chair. Why? Right. If you keep on, he's going to die on the operating table. Right. Better to pray with him now. Yeah. I said, we can pray with him now. Look what I the power of the prophetic. Yeah. I said, we can pray for him now, right. and then he'll be gone before the day is over. Right. It was in the afternoon. Now think about the power of the prophetic. Yeah. I could have been a fool. Right. And we could have prayed, and then he would still be alive now today, mm -hmm. 20 years later. But we prayed he was he was gone with an hour. Because we released him. So to the point of we said, what? 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 God has given you the power to keep people here or to release people. And you have to know the difference. Everybody is not gonna do like me. Because they don't have 
what I have. And they didn't build the army that I built around me. That's right. 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 True. That so that when something would happen to me, I would manifest in another person. Right. 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 Yes. The same as Jesus did. Yes. Yes. Amen. And so you have to you have to know by the Spirit what needs to happen in certain situations. Right. Yes. And we would have, we wouldn't have a lot of the stuff that we have. That's right. And then we also, of course, you know, and I want to go into that part, but we also have the part that people should not go, right. should not die. That's right. right. But they have you have the medical, and you have, you have their ear. Right. And um, right. once they get in there, right. you're pretty much dead. That's right. Yeah. But anyway, don't I don't lose it now. He said that this, this, it was a spirit which made him mute and whenever he seized him and this is the part that I wanted you to get that's why I went into that whole story and of course um, the people turned against me and said it was my fault that the son died wow. Wow. and that they shouldn't have listened to me but they asked me and so my point is, is that you know things spiritually, yeah. but people are so much in the flesh right. yes. that they really don't want to hear right. what the Spirit actually is saying. Right. It was better. You know, I tell the cookie the other day, we had a member in the church, and it went been through a whole lot, been married a long time, and and during the praise and worship. I could hear the Lord singing and calling for this person to come home. Right. Because the because the, the wife was holding the person. Right. Even though the person was sick. Right. Because of the love and they've been together so long and you know, children and grandchildren and all that. Right. But I could hear that and I'm thinking, what? Right. I can't sing that. Right. <laughs> The woman was right there in the church. Right. And they were so strong, I just said, I, I, I have to do it. Wow. And I, so I sang. Mm -hmm. right. and, and sang for the, the, what the Lord, or I heard the Lord saying. Some yeah. of you were here. Yeah. 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 A few of you were here. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Yes, right. it was. And when the wife heard it, it was that the power was on it, and she knew that she needed to release her husband. Right. Yeah. And then we we told her how to do it, right. yeah. and I think we even sent some some with her, and they got it done. He was wow. gone, bam! Wow! wow. Yep. And we moved on. Wow! Right. Yeah. And that was a, a uh, you know a um, a wonderful um, releasing and uh, entering heaven. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way it really is. Right. Yes. The church should right. never be sad if you have the renewed mind. Of course, you're going to be, that's the loved one, and you know, right. you're going to have some emotion right. involved. But right. if we really understand that we're going to heaven, yes. right. and the fight is, you, you fought a good fight, faith. Right. Right. When it's time to check out, it's Ray, it's time to check out. Right. Punch your time card. Right. You already got your ticket. We talked about that, so we right, right, so right. get where you started. You got your ticket. Yeah. You are ready to go. You show it to the conductor. That's the angel. Yeah. You're gone. Right. You don't even be in sad and crying and all that. Right. It's over in a minute. Bam. Gone. Over. Right. And then you're in a new life. Say, what? Yeah. 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 Discard that flesh. Yeah. That carcass that's wearing you out. Right. Right. Knee, the knee don't work, ankle don't work. <laughs> Only to hear out of one ear. Somebody was biting on it the whole life. And you can't hear out of that ear. Maybe it was a, a rashler and they was chewing on it and twisting it in the headlock. I don't know. He goes on and he tells us the story about the demonic. He said he, he, he uh, seized him, dashed him to the ground. He foamed at the mouth. 
mashing his teeth, stiffing out. I even saw this. I saw this happen, the stiffing out part. I seen it. I experienced it. Reading on the scripture. If I didn't know the scripture, I would have had to call 911. <laughs> because I was taking somebody through deliverance in the bookstore. And the demons were coming out, and, that, and the demon, they get in a, in a, like a, um, a position like a, uh, when you're going to have a baby. They get in a position where they can get the, get the demons out. I'm talking about when you get with it. Why? You, you don't know nothing much. <laughs> but when you really get with the program and drive them out, they get, they get ready, they get in a position to get them out. Why? And then all of a sudden, because we had pushed out, I don't know how many, maybe 25, I don't, at least 25. And then also he went stiff. Right. Mm. <laughs> stiff like a, I'm gonna tell you, he went stiff like a dead person. Right. When I looked, he's stiff as a stiff as a, a board. Went dead. Right. And I was like, <laughs> so shocked. And then. I, I, I didn't know what to do, and I said, I, you know, when you don't know what to do, don't do nothing. Right. 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 And then, uh, then all of a sudden, he, he came out of it, he came out of that, and then some more pushed some more out. Right. Wow. One time I was taking a guy through deliverance, and the demon didn't want to come out, and so he was dragging the body oh, wow. like a fish. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> and I said, what are you doing? Right. I laughed, I was laughing. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? I said, oh, you don't want to get out. And so I seen him trying to go to the door. I said, no, leave the body and get out. You're not taking it out because it's trying to get out. The demon was trying to get take the body, drag the body out. It was incredible. Flopping like a fish. I was laughing. <laughs> Because when you, when you when you start realizing that they can't do nothing, right. Right. it begins to be fun. Right. I mean, I've seen it all. I'd take him through the lifts. I remember one time a guy came in, Mitch. Remember him? He came in. I'd already been taking people to live to 12 hours. Just, you know, different religious roles coming in. He came in at midnight. And I said, what do you want? And I pointed toward the, toward the window because I had <laughs> salvation and deliverance. No, healing, salvation, and deliverance right. by divine power. Right. And I said, which, what, which one do you want? And he said, I want the package deal. <laughs> oh, I started laughing. And he was the one that went stiff. Wow. I forgot who's friend. He's Milton's friend, I think, uh -huh. from L.A. Pasadena, I don't know where, but anyway. I punished them demons. Yeah, yeah. The point I wanted to make is when I, and I learned this, before I'd be fighting with them, fighting with them, fighting with them. And they, I was so tired one night, and the one guy came in and I, I he said what he needed, and I said, just sit there on the chair. And I, I almost like slapped him in the head. <laughs> And because I do all kind of stuff to see if they were serious, because you want to get out, get out of here. Right. Right. And the people that are serious, they don't care. Right. I banged him upside the head and then told him, I, put the name of Jesus, and they come out, all you filthy demons. And then I usually would stay there, but I'm so tired, I said, I'm out. So I went around the corner in my chair, my office was right around the corner, mm -hmm. and to sit down. Came back and I said, "Man, I, I'd rather go back and finish this guy up. This guy was foaming out of the mouth, oh my God. and that was nobody but me and him in there." Right. I said, "My God!" Right. I said, "The Lord is is he can get this done himself." Yes. And I started adjusting as I as I learned. Amen. Now I don't even play with him. Right. You want to keep him? To have as many as you want. Right. Matter of fact, when I'm driving them out of here right. in, the, in the altar, you simpletons right. that are wide open and don't pray, right. and just look, look, right. look, they right, right in you. Right. Right. And if you don't even know what I'm talking about, you're like, right. what? what did you just say? <laughs> 
Yeah, they go. They they, they, they got demon catchers. Anyway, it's too much. Too much for you. You ready to fight? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dream tonight. I'm gonna dream about crushing hell. Yeah. I will be. I won't be one minute of the death. Yeah. He already knows. Right. That he's on my list. Right. I punish him everywhere. Amen. That's Amen. one of my names. You didn't know that, did you? Bishop the Punisher. Yeah. You didn't know that. That's one of my names. But anyway, he goes on. He says, they, they, they said, I turn, I, he turns, he went stiff. He said, and I told your disciples to cast it, to cast it out. And he said, they could not. You see that? Yeah. Right, That's right. where most of you are. Right. You can't do it. You ain't even tried. Right. right. You afraid. Right. Trini, why are you hiding down there so low? I can barely see you. You nervous? You afraid? We can get it out of you. If it's telling you right now, oh my God, Bishop is talking. That's one of them in you. Right. You might tell you, don't go outside. <laughs> you say you you're hot, you're getting hot, you're getting hotter, it's hotter, you're getting hotter and hotter. Right now, you're getting hotter and hotter. Go outside to tell the person next to you, you're just gonna get some air. That's a game you're telling you that. Go outside, get some air. Go outside, go outside. It's hot, it's hot. Go outside. That's it. Yeah. That's the devil. What difference does it make if it's cold or if it's hot wherever we are? That's right. That's right. We gather, we gather together to hear the word. Come on. And to learn how to take dominion over your circumstances. You have to stop um, just allowing things to happen. I don't know how many times Chrissy and, and where's Bell? She's always missing when I'm trying to call her. But when I would, Chrissy would call and tell me a bad report, and I would say, what? Yeah. She'd tell me, I said, no. Right. Call him back. Well, I, mean, I just was on the phone, I, I said, I don't care. Right. Call them back. Right. <laughs> now I make her call and say, so tell they give me what I want. Right. Or they, they, the company always, Craps on themselves, <laughs> and then they go, they go. When you call them on, they say they're sorry. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, Mr. Such. I'm sorry, right. Mr. Such. I said sorry. Right. I said tell them, I'm, tell them I need to be compensated. Right. <laughs> the other day I went, uh, I, I went to um, the Jack in the Box and got me a, a, a breakfast combo. Right. And they gave me cold. Uh, hash browns oh, and the biscuit wasn't cooked all the way. Oh, I'd already left and I go, oh no. Right. Right. I'm not eating this. Right. And so I didn't go back. I just waited until I was back in that area and was going back in there again right. to get my breakfast. And I said to the, to the Mexican <laughs> young and she was like, just looking. So I realized, no, she, 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 she's not the person. Right. I said, where's the manager? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. when, she's over there. I said, well, get her. Right. right. Over right. there. That's not helping me. Right. Go get her. Yeah. Here comes the manager. Lady. Yes, uh, sir. I said, the other day, I was over here. She said, do you have your receipt? I said, no. I don't have no receipt. I'm the receipt. I said, I was over here, and I said, I got a hash, cold hash browns and an uncooked bis biscuit. Right. He said, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I said, she said, the next time, uh, she said, you know, we hope that we'll do better. I said, well, that's not good enough. Right. Uh, we got to do better now. Right. I said, I need to be compensated right. for your incompetence. Right. And so she said, she didn't go, oh, you need to leave now. We're never going to serve you again. She knew that. 
Nope. She liked that I brought it to her. Yep. She said, we can give it to you right now. Yep. Yep. I said, no, I already have changed from the, from the biscuit to the ultimate breakfast. I changed because I don't want to get the same, right. the same ball game. Right. So I said, I already got my breakfast. I said, but the next time I come, she said, the next time you come through, she said, I'm always here. Just, uh -huh. just, just call for me. And then I will just complimentary hey. give you a breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, okay. Good job. Thank you so much. Now that's the way, now you can say, you can say that's not, you know, that's no. That is how you do it. Right. And it don't change. No. That's true, Bishop. It doesn't change. That's true. If it's that or if it's dealing with a thousand dollars or it's dealing with ten thousand or a million. Right. right. It don't change. That's right. That's right. The principle don't change and you got you have to, if you don't fight for that, then you'll never fight for when they they, 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 they take a you know five hundred dollars. Right. 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 That's, right. That's true, Bishop. Or if the IRS come come yeah. up yep. yeah. and rev their head up. That's right. 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 It doesn't make no difference. You have to be, and you have to face those things. And now I'm telling you because I have faced them. Yes. Right, Bishop. And I know how the things frighten you. And I know all the way back when I was a, <coughs> in, in a, you know, um, a teenager. And I remember when you would get tickets and things and you didn't know what to do. Yes. And so you would do nothing and you would think that it would just go away. <laughs> And it never got away, went away, it just came and got worse. Right. Right. Yeah, that's true. And then Cookie helped me a lot with that, yeah. with, those, with those issues. When it comes to deal with money and different things like that, she helped me a lot. Yeah. I got to give her credit, the old lady. Yeah. I got to give her credit. Yeah. Her credit's due. Yeah. I didn't have a checkbook. I didn't care nothing about no checkbook. I didn't want no checkbook, right. and I realized that in this world, yeah. you got to have a checkbook. Yes. One thing I didn't, I still don't understand about people, how to have the ledger, and they, they, they never know how much money they have. Right. right. Unbelievable. Right. And they're working with, you know, $100, and they'd be just, um, you know, going through their ledger and saying, well, I took, I paid five dollars here and I, ten dollars here. And I, I, I can't understand how I went over. I, 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 I know that this is, it can't be right. I, I, I didn't, I was, I know. I, I went over. I bounced a check. I don't understand how that happened. I bounced a check. And then they made me pay uh, thirty-five dollars in the bus right. check. Right. Right. And I've only done it like three times in the last. <laughs> they got me three times in the last month. Right. I don't understand. Right. The thing that I don't understand right. is that I have never used a ledger right. and I have never bounced a check. Right. Now I've had checks bounced. Right. For people that work for me, right. but I never bounce a check right. Right. Right, man. because I always know how much money I got. Right. Right. I know how much money I got in my fist, right. and I know how much I got in the bank. Right. Amen. And I don't need the ledger <laughs> to tell me. Right. Right. And I do know about the bank eating the five dollars yeah. every month or right. whatever it is. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We know about that too. But anyway, I guess that's just the being blessed with the numbers. Yes. I, I believe it's just you have to figure out what you're going to do and then you got to do what you figured out. Right. And then you always have to be believing God. Yes. And that's the thing about it that it'll never change. Yes. About believing God. Yes. Right. Now, as you know, the Christian is always saying, I believe in God. What for? Right. Right. He, he knows. Yeah. That's why you don't have nothing. Right. 
Because that's not the way it goes. Right. You say yeah. 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 what you're believing God for. Yeah. I'm believing God for $50. I'm believing God for $100. And I got yes. to have it. Yeah. Or whatever it is. I got to have it. Yeah. I got to have it by such and such a day. And the Lord knows. Yes. And I did put a, a, a tithe in for it. Right. Yeah. If, I need, if I need 10, I put a dollar in to get it. Yeah. If I need 100, then I put 10 in to get that 100. Amen. And I'm, belie I'm believing that you, did you put something on. Right. Oh, oh. Okay, that's why you ain't got it. Sorry. That's Bible. You got to always be challenging yourself. And then you always have to be thanking him. You have to understand the power of praise and worship. And thanking God. Yes. That when you pray, you thank Him. Right. Yes. Oh yes. And then you say, "Well, I'm waiting to get it because then that I'm thanking Well, you, you ain't never gonna get it right. No. Right. because faith thanks Him when you pray. Yes. Yes. Right. Believe that you have received, and Jesus said, and you shall have. Yes. Yes. Right. Believe yes. that you receive when you yes. stand praying. Believe that you have received. Amen. In Mark 11, 24 and 25, and so here, He says here. Then he, they brought him the boy to his disciples. They could not do it. And Jesus said this, and he, it was very, very, very profound, and it's into us today. He said that he answered in verse 19 them and said, O oh, unbelieving generation. Right. Unbelieving generation. He right. said, a, a spirit of unbelief. Right. How long shall I be with you? Right. How long shall I put up? Shall I put up with you? Right. Bring him to me. He's right. saying the whole generation had a spirit of unbelief, right. and we're fighting it even to this day. Yes. Right. Right. Until the, until the Christian has the, the belief that I'm yes. all alone. It's just me. Right. Me, just me. <laughs> Yeah. So what if it was just you? That's not true. That's a lie. As soon as you start spewing that that lie out your mouth, you're not going to be doing nothing for God. In fact, you're going to be running for cover, and you're going to change into the, the world's um, uh, dress, so they won't know. So they won't know that you're not with them. Right. You want to dress like them, right. you want to talk like them, right. you want to act like them, right. then guess what? You are them. Right. I don't look like them. Right. Matter of fact, when they see me, they think, they think either I'm an athlete, right. and I'd be thinking, how can you think that I'm an athlete when I'm almost 60 years old? <laughs> <laughs> he's, either seeing, he's a stupid that's my first thought you're stupid but then that's not nice <laughs> so I say well maybe it's, it's uh, because I dyed my hair right. so they can't see my age now right. I don't know but I'm projecting something other than the world right, right. right. A lot of times they say, I'm a preacher. Right. And I'll leave it at that. Amen. He goes on, he says, in verse 20, where's my, where's my verse I want to be at? It says 70 to 29. I wanted to pull out something here. Oh, here it is. Verse 23, where I, wanted to, I don't want to take all the time. And the whole story is Jesus says to him, then they give him the whole rundown too. Right. You know, they gave the rundown to the disciples. They couldn't do nothing. Right. Now they got to right. give the whole rundown again to Jesus. And it, it says, uh, Jesus said to him in verse 23, and Jesus said to, to the man, if you can believe or if you can, all things are possible. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. To yes. him who believes. Amen. So, so Jesus said to the old man, if you can, so he was saying, if you can believe. Yes. Right. If you can believe, even though you know you run down all this 
as you ran down to me, can you believe? Right. And then the whole story goes on, it goes all the way to verse 29. But we know the end of the story that Jesus did knock it out of the park right. Right. and release him. So, oh, you know what? We didn't get Mark 11 in there. I mean, what is it? We did Mark 9. This is Mark 9. Right. 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 This is Mark 11 that we didn't get in. I have the answer to prayer, Mark 11. In verse, uh, oh yeah, I quoted this. Mark, Mark 11, 24. Therefore I say to you, all things are, all things which you pray and ask, believe. Yes. Yes. See what happens, we'll pray and we'll ask, right. but we don't believe. Right. Right. We say we do, but then nothing changes. Right. If you're asking God for a car, you got to be out there looking for one. Right. Of course, right. you have to have a job. Right. Right. You know, you, people want to go and get a car and don't have no job. It don't mean you can't. Right. But it's going to be tough. You're going to have to right. probably get an answer. <laughs> You got to have some money to get that. So you got to believe, is my point. Pray, pray, ask, and believe that you have received them. Pray, ask, believe that you have received them. And they shall be granted you. That's what Jesus said. Pray, Ask, then believe. Yes. Yes. And then you thank God. Yes. Yes. Same thing with healing. We want to feel healing. But healing is not a feeling. It's, it's by faith. You receive it. And I'm talking to myself now because I know that I'm very close to walking off from, of dialysis. Yes. And I've been saying that from the beginning. Right. Yes. Right. Even yeah. even <coughs> when I was so weak, right. Right. I've still been telling them from the beginning. Yes. And I know now that I'm very close. Yes. Yeah. And I can go into more detail, but I'm not. Right. But the Lord has showed me. Remember, I told you they're the breadcrumbs. Yes. Right. And you gotta you gotta recognize the breadcrumbs. Right. Yes. You got to recognize the, the moving of the spirit. Yes. And rec recognize when your tongues have changed. Yes. Yes. And your tongue right. is, is getting is after something right. to help you. Right. You have to you have to press harder right. um, yes. in the spirit world yes. when you when you need something from God. Right. <coughs> when I would. Um, would, would know that something would be going on with my children, one of my children in the house. I would pray longer at night right. while they slept. Right. And whatever it was, I would take I would take hold of it. That's all I can tell you. Right. The Lord showed me that how to do that in 1 Corinthians 14. Right. And I would take hold of it because that's what Paul would do. And I would take hold of it in the spirit and I would not let it go in the spirit praying in tongues until I know I had victory over that situation. Right. Yeah. And it could be my own life too. Yeah. And also Cookie. I, and then also members in the church. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I always pray for, for every member of the church yeah. right. every night before I go to bed. Right. I pray for every member of the church right. for God to, to intervene to see it can't be on my prayers alone, and when you and when you first come in, it can't help would would carry you a long way. Right. And then you gotta you gotta grow up yeah. in the things yeah. of the spirit, yeah. and you have to learn how to take a hold of things yourself. Right. 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 
And the thing that so has been such a marvelous, I call it a run, which is life. Right. But it's such a marvelous run or a marvelous way of walking with God that you face these things that are insurmountable. insurmountable. I mean, right. there's mountains and stuff. Right. But you face them. Right. Right. Yes. And when you face them, you, you see the miracle. Yes. You see it happening. You see it unfolding. You see yes. that God is making a way for you. And it's just, that is what makes it so exciting to serve God. Amen. Um, I was going to give you, I don't have it in my notes, but I was going to give you um, Acts chapter 2. I quoted the one in Acts 10. I mean, yeah, Acts 10. I quoted it to you. Acts 10, 38. I quoted that to you, but I wanted to give you this one. In Acts 2. Yeah. Acts 2, 22. It says, Men of Israel, listen to these words. Jesus the, Nazare the Nazarene, a man attested to you, which is, is um, exhibited or credentials. The credentials were exhibited to you by God with miracles, wonders, and signs which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know. <laughs> so my point here is it shows that God was demonstrating the miracles and signs that came with this man. Amen. And if you follow Jesus, Amen. you will have the same signs, Amen. but the, the, but critiqued for your life. Amen. In other words, fit. A miracle that's fit for you. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's a miracle designed yeah. by God for you. Amen. Yes. And you're tailor-made almost. Tailor made for you yes. Yes. in your situation. Yes. Yes. And that's how you you um, get out. Amen. Amen. And God delivers. Amen. And then He heals and He makes a way where there is no way. Right. And He right. always does it. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. And you cannot change yes. in your thinking of any other way than the way that I'm saying. Right. And he heals her, and that he right. delivers. Right. Yes. And he makes a way where there is no way. Yes. Yes. He makes a way. Yes. And that's the part that you gotta get for your uh, rent every month. Right. You gotta get that for your car payment every month right. if you have one. And then, you know, what I'm trusting God for, which I always have, is to, to be able to pay things off. Right. Yes. Right. Amen. And it doesn't make any difference the amount of what it is. Right. 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 Amen. I believe God to pay off my cars. Yes. I believe God to, to, to pay for me a motorhome. Yes. Amen. I believe it will be probably a million dollars this time. Yes. My last one was a quarter of a million. I said, ain't no need going back there. Right. Right. Step it up a little bit. Amen. And uh, enjoy the benefits of serving God. Amen. 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 Pay my house off at 1.5 million. Amen. Pay it off. Amen. So I have to worry about the strokes. I call them strokes. Right. <laughs> I have to worry about the strokes. Right. He can he can handle that. Right. And you you have to believe that way. Right. That's right. I believe for my plane. Right. Yeah. I believe for my limo service. Yes. Yeah. 
and others can benefit from it and also be, I charge you. <laughs> Discount rate, but <laughs> still gonna charge you if you want to use my limo. And so forth and so on. So I I dream. Yeah. And I, I, I don't believe that uh just cluff old dollar can have it. That's right. I, I know the same Jesus that Cleflo knows. Right. Right. And I know that God is no respect, no respecter of person. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And so, right. because Cleflo has it, or uh, Copeland has it, or whoever, on and on and on, right. I'm happy for them, yeah. but I got to get mine. That's right. That's right. I've right. been years in the Spirit, and the Lord visited me at night, and He sees my face, yeah. and He can send one of them jets over here. Yeah. Amen. You didn't hear it, Amen. but I heard it. Yeah. So you can all stand. <clears throat> if you need an envelope, I did have a scripture for you. And uh, we got to thought of that right at the end. And sir, it was in Hebrews. I had a scripture for you for in uh, Hebrews 13 for your finances. Um, Hold on just a minute. I did more, uh, tried to do more teaching tonight. Amen. So you can get, for, you know, for understanding. Yes. Sometimes he's preaching and shouting. Anyway, the, the verse, uh, uh, Hebrews 13, 5, it says, Let your character be free from the love of money. I wanted to give you that because as long as you're lusting after money and striving for money, you're gonna you don't go the wrong down the wrong path. The Bible says, "Let your character be free from the love of money, being content with what you have." For He Himself has said, "I will never desert you." nor will I ever forsake you. Amen. And so you, you have to put your confidence in that scripture concerning finances because the, the, the world is always trying to, to, to get you. You can't, you can't go to church today, you gotta, get, you gotta work. You do that, you go get your money, you made a mistake. Right. You honor God on the days that we meet. Right. Amen. You'll see that God will provide more Amen. than when you ever got on that one day that you missed church. Yeah. And we have people, we have members here that have been here over 20 years yeah. and still will come to church on Thursday because they work. Right. And they're homeless. They don't even have a place to live. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Yeah. You're working on Thursday, but you ain't got no place to live. Because you don't honor God. Right. Yeah. Right. You got to honor God. Right. And he will give you a place to live. Right. Amen. He's done it for me. He'll do it for you. He did it for Abraham. He did it for Isaac. He did it for, for Jacob. Amen. And we are the seed of Abraham. Yeah. Right. Amen. So God has a promise to Abraham. Amen. And he promised us yes. through yes. Abraham. Yes. The seed would be blessed. Yes. We have, a, we have a, oh, we got a big just wedding on Saturday. I don't know if there's anybody for that. Yeah, we are going to have the men's meeting. We are going to have the men's meeting. Senior, senior Grubbies, Senior Grubbies, men's meeting. I, I, um, I know Adrian's not here. I, I don't have my robes. I need my robes. I need agreement from the church. I need my robes. So we need to find my robes. All of my robes are missing. Something's wrong with that. There's something wrong with that. That doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, do we have anything else? So we have the men's meeting. What about the love feast? Not the Saturday? No, Okay, that's good. We've got to keep.